Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hey, praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to the Breakthrough Church. It's truly an honor and pleasure to be here again with uh, Senior Pastor, Pastor Everett, uh, Pastor Joanne and the Breakthrough family and, my, and myself, Pastor Clay. We just want to thank you for joining us and we thank you for all our partners. We uh, win of souls all over the world and we're looking for God to do some mighty things this year, not just in, in, in our church, but also in your life as well. We want to encourage you and walk with you as you overcome the, the attacks of the enemy. So let me open in prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus today and we bless you. We give you glory and praise today, Lord God, for a breakthrough. We thank you for touching your people right now, the ones that are sitting right now that need a word, Lord God. We thank you for touching the sickness in their bodies right now, that healing will take place. We thank you for healing relationships, Lord God. We thank you for the people that's worrying, Lord God, that you're touching right now. We thank you for the people that's listening and watching right now to receive a word and breakthrough in your power. We thank you in Jesus' name. We push back on all spirits of worry, depression, anxiety, all the stuff of darkness. We push back. Lord God, and that your peace will reign on us this moment in an awesome way. And that is in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And you know, when we say amen, that means I agree with the word of God. So when I agree with the word of God, guess what happens? That word manifests in my in my life. He said that when two or three come together and touch and agree, that word moves in power in my life. Now, remember, though, that it may not come exactly on point when you're talking about, well, why is it taking so long? Well, let God be God. See, God already got the seasons already set. He already have the moves already met. So in your life, he's already designed. God know when the right timing comes. He know when to remove people out of your life. He know when to heal you. He know when the manifestation of that power falls fresh upon you. So the key is, is to allow God to be God. I remember when Jesus said, thy will be done. And I need to be able to say that in, in some uh, difficult situations in my life. Thy will be done. I'm going to praise you anyway, Lord. I'm going to lift you up anyway, Father God, because I know that you're the great I am, that you sit high and look low, and that you're everywhere, Lord God, at one time. So I'm going to trust you, Lord, in my situation. Amen. So I want to share with you about a powerful word that I believe that's going to give you your missing link that you need uh, in your relationship, if need so. And I'm coming out of Philippians uh, 3 and, and uh, 5, and I want to talk to some people uh, right now that may be going through something that may be anxious about it. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about the word anxious, but let me put anxiety in there for you. How about that? Because we can relate to that anxiety, right? In most cases, that thing is so unbalanced that it takes control. So watch this, what it says. It says, rejoice in the Lord, and this is 3 and 4, Philippians. Paul is talking to the church, and he's talking to you, he's talking to me. He's saying, rejoice in the Lord always. And then he had, he, he had to say it again, because sometimes we need to go over and go over and go over until we get it right. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evidence. Let your gentleness be evidence to all. The Lord is near. Watch this. Verse six. Do not be anxious about anything. Whoa. See, for me, that's a power stone that God has given me to say, hey, listen, get yourself together emotionally. How are you going to do that, though? You only can do that in the power of the Holy Spirit. There's nothing else available to push that anxiety back into darkness. There's nothing available but the Holy Spirit. So he said, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by what? Prayer. Uh-oh. Prayer. Yes, prayer. Because prayer is your power. Power for what? To break strongholds, 1 first, first Corinthians chapter 10. For our weapons is not carnal. That means we don't act like uh, normal people act with, who just deal with emotions and be tossed to and forth from every wind. 
No, we use the power of God to push back and get our thoughts right. And petition, bring in my case before God. With what? Thanksgiving. Have you lost that? I know sometimes I, I forget about to be grateful for a lot of things in my life. How about that? For me, I have to remind myself, hey, you're too blessed to be stressed. I have to remind myself. What are you worrying about? Are you anxious about something? Is anxiety taking over? Why? Because you're trying to control it. How about just let it go and let God? How about let it go and get on my, on my knees and say, Lord, I need you. How about start utilizing the Holy Spirit in my life? See, and then Thanksgiving will come. What is Thanksgiving? That's your peace. You have to guard that from anything that's trying to take that away from you. He said, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Whoa. Is it, the, is it because I'm not guarding my mind and my heart in Jesus? Why I'm being tormented on the low? Why I am in my secret places when I'm laying in my bed and my heart begins to cry out? of that sacred stone that I haven't found closure to that torments me on the low. Can you relate to that? I could. I know how I feel, but only God can heal. So make a decision today. Watch this. Then Paul go on to say, and he's talking to you and I, he said, finally, Finally, come on now, this day. Do not go the next day holding that baggage. Do not go the next day carrying that backpack of hurt and pain and regret and shame. Let it go today. He said, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, whatever is, is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Ah, uh, it hit me right there on the head because I sometimes I forget about how blessed I am. And I began to dwell on the tax that came at me, even a tax from 1962 I'm still holding on to. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go today. Do not go another day carrying that. How you do it? You simply just go into a private place and just say, Lord, I turn this over to you and name it. Okay? Name it. Expose it. It's like hurt and pain when somebody can flick hurt on you and you still hold on to it, and you try to keep it inside because you're ashamed. Let it go. Expose it right before God. Say, God, you can have this. And name it. I need your power, Lord, to help me to stay strong, to keep it in your hands, that I will not bring it up. And when I bring it up, and when it comes up to my mind, I reject it and say, I am set free from that. I am healed, and God has forgiven me, and I have forgiven myself. You can't blame yourself for something you have no control over. Let it go. Let it go. We also want to hear from you, too, as well. Uh, you know, let us know how you're doing in your walk. Let us know where you at so we can assist you in your walk in that. So he said to think on these things, think on some true things, think on whatever, whatever is noble, lovely, whatever is admirable. Think on these things. Whenever you have learned or received or heard from me, Paul said, or seen in me, put it into practice. Have a great day. My name is Pastor Clay.